What? Tell you what's up, man. What's going on, baby? Good to see you, boss. Good to see you, yeah. man. The way you releasing off the ball, you know, guys can't can't get their hands on you. You got to kind of talk me through that, man. Where, where does that come from? Well, a lot of it, I pull it from, uh, you know, I didn't play football to my junior year in high school, so it was all basketball movements. It was the okay. crossovers where I really pulled, um, kind of started off my releases in, in the, the general idea of how I'm going about moving guys around. So, I mean, when I come off the ball, a lot of guys talk about my hop off the ball because yeah. it's kind of unconventional. So if I'm coming off the ball, I like to, I like to freeze you when I'm in the air. Yeah. And as soon as I see a hand or anything, I'm reacting off of that. So you're trying to tell me that you done took the basketball court yeah. and moved it onto the football field. Yeah. So right now you got the you got the AI crossover. Yeah. And so that's what's going through your mind when you step to the line. Yeah, man. I mean, I grew up watching AI. I mean, all of these guys with the, the most vicious crossovers. It felt natural to me coming off the ball kind of with a little bit of a hop and then change, it, change your pace a little bit. Um, I feel like it keep the guy on his toes a little bit. I gotta get outside. Okay. I'm thinking, attack you. If you if you're an aggressive guy, I'm gonna attack here and I'm gonna get in your face. Okay. I might even lull you to sleep a little bit. Yep. And then the next thing, what I've noticed is a lot of DBs, they waiting for that next move. That's that's the that's the money move because I've already came here. Pause. So now you kind of got me. Yep. So I'm now you laid it here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is get you a little hard move here. Yep. Load that leg up and then get there. And then once you get there, I'm trying to stay as tight to you as possible because you know better than anybody. More room I get this way, you can catch up to that angle and cut right. me off. So I, right. I try to stay as tight to this guy once I beat him, even bring my arms with it as I go. So if I'm getting up here, throw that there, Ooh. and I'm staying there and I'm keeping that, keeping that straight line. I want to see what it looks like from my perspective, head up, see how you come off the ball so I can see what the guys are seeing today. So when I'm coming off, if you head up like that, I'm gonna I'm a most likely come off and just be reactionary. If I got an outside route, I'm gonna come off like this, here, yep. see where you're at, yep. and I'll probably get you another one right there. And that's the one that usually get them to jump in. Yep. So a little quicker, it, it, it looks something like, boom, right there. So you don't got me to hop. Yep. At worst, I find myself ending up around this this spot, which gives a you ride room outside. all of this area to throw. Man, I appreciate it. Now, look, y'all saw Devontae working me off the line of scrimmage. Now you about to get a taste of what it feel like.